on guys salute to hoops here just uh doing some grocery shopping and decided to see what the card section looks like now at my local target and uh, as you can see it's pretty standard across the board here looks like they're not carrying any uh of the major cards anymore so uh yeah it looks like that's kind of done with but they do have like hockey and stuff obviously your standard magic the gathering some Yu-Gi-Oh here but uh this is a nice surprise we got some card sleeves here and some one touchers so um uh, don't really need these but uh you guys already know how it is so we're gonna snag some of the card sleeves and um maybe a pack of one touchers just a little five pack of 10 bucks i believe these things are so uh not bad as far as supplies go but um yeah looks like target is for sure no longer boom holding any of the the good stuff so um yeah i'm guessing a lot of you guys' targets are starting to look like this uh this is actually the first time i've seen like this many card sleeves and like one touches or pretty much anything here to be honest with you usually this is all just a match of the gathering so i guess this is kind of a uh, surprise but yeah i just wanted to show you guys what my local target's looking like and um yeah if you guys the target's looking like this too comment below lego salute to hoops guys welcome back to the channel another day another video another day in the sports card hobby all right so today's video i don't have anything to rip it's just gonna be kind of like a hobby talk type deal uh, as you saw by the title and um yeah we're just gonna kind of get into it there's a lot going on in the hobby still right now basketball is kind of i don't want to say stagnant but uh, there's not a lot of releases so we're still dealing with that um before we get into the video go ahead and like and subscribe guys we're approaching 200 subscribers pretty rapidly here which is pretty sweet so if you haven't done so already please subscribe to the channel i would greatly appreciate it uh still using my phone as an edit editing device i got a vacation coming up so I, i'm not able to purchase like a laptop or anything as of right now so still kind of dealing with that um but yeah hopefully soon i can grab a laptop and we can get back to the the real edits but i think that this will suffice for right now so but yeah support the channel please i would greatly appreciate it follow me on instagram boom at salute to hoops so let's just get into it you saw the first portion of this video guys was just uh, a couple minute video of me at target the other day uh, me and the girlfriend had to go food shopping and i decided to stop by the card section i haven't been to target in a while i tried the 8 a.m release thing a couple times and uh the target that i was going to never had the cards so had any cards for that matter so there's probably something going on at the table there but uh I, I guess you can see that from the video that since they got rid of the cards and you know the scalpers aren't there and stuff like that uh, there was actually product on the shelf now i'm not a hockey guy by any means but they had a bunch of hockey stuff there match the gatherings obviously there but most importantly they did have supplies there bunch of top loader not excuse me not top loaders a bunch of of those 500 pack penny sleeves as you can see as well as one touches uh, which i picked up i uh, didn't pick up the one touch for myself usually when i go to target uh, and there's some supplies there i'll hop on twitter and let you know the people that i follow and my followers know that i'm there if they need anything i'll pick them up something and they can just uh, pay the shipping um it's not a huge deal by any means but so i picked up some of those one touches uh, and then got myself two packs of the 500 pack or 500 count excuse me uh penny sleeves so i didn't need the penny sleeves by any means uh but always good to have supplies on deck learned that pretty uh pretty early in the hobby so um i don't know if we'll ever see the main three uh sports cards at target ever again i really hope we do because as a kind of budget individual in this hobby i was kind of relying on you know at least the chance of getting retail 
So uh, hobby, as you you guys already know, is extremely um, not non economical. If I guess, if I I'm not too sure if that's the correct term for it, but uh, if you're going to like an LCS and you're paying for hobby hobby box uh, packs or even a hobby box itself, you're going to be paying you know upwards of you know fifty to a hundred bucks just for a pack of those cards out of the hobby box, uh, depending on obviously um, if it's prism or optic or something like that, but you're going to be paying a lot. So hopefully when things die down, maybe target will get back to the retail game. I haven't even tried Walmart either because it's pretty safe to say that the individuals that were scalping at target have probably all just moved to Walmart now. So it's, I don't even want to know what that's like. I don't even like going to Walmart in general, so I've definitely been avoiding that. So there's definitely some frustrations right now being just a budget collector in this hobby. Hopefully things change soon. It seems like things might be slowing down. You know, coronavirus is kind of under control now. People are starting to go on vacations and life's getting back to normal. So who knows? Maybe we'll see sports cards back at Target, at least the main three within the next year or so wishful thinking of course so yeah i just want to talk about that a little bit guys uh in the meantime i've decided to start a, a, a new pc i wanted to kind of introduce it to you guys there's a few of the cards here already i'm a huge chicago bulls fan as you guys know if you've watched this channel we got dennis robin here joining us so uh, my all-time favorite bull um so i've decided since the bulls did not make the playoffs again this year. Uh, I wanted to start a PC of the Chicago Bulls, specifically from the 2011 season, where if you're a Chicago Bulls fan, you know my pain because you know that that was going to be, that was supposed to be the Chicago Bulls year <laughs> to win another championship. Uh, fate had other plans, unfortunately, but I truly believe that year that we had the best shot at winning the championship. So uh, what I decided to do was start an autograph uh, PC collection of that entire roster, the 2010-2011, excuse me, Chicago Bulls roster. Uh, don't have too many of the cards here yet. I've been starting, starting from the bottom up, so the players that I knew I could get for pretty cheap or find fairly easily, uh, that's who's going to be here on this stack. And ultimately, I think we all know that the most expensive card uh, is going to end up being the Derrick Rose autograph, which I definitely will get. Uh, it's just a matter of if and when, and I got to, you know, snipe that right, that right price on eBay. So, uh, but I'm just going to go over the cards that I did finally, or uh, I have accumulated so far. I think there's about five guys, five or six guys here, and we'll start off with the GOAT himself, uh, Brian Scalbrini. Now, if you guys watched the video a couple months ago when I went to the card show, some guy wanted like 30 bucks for this autograph for some reason, so I picked it up on eBay for $5, which was the price I was willing to pay uh, max. Eh, maybe like 8 bucks, depending on my my mood. But 30 bucks for a Brian Scalbrini auto, definitely wasn't paying it. But was able to get it on eBay for $5, so that's who I decided to start this PC with. Second player we got here is going to be C.J. Watson. Played a pretty pivotal role that season back up uh, to Derrick Rose. Uh, so I think I ended up getting this for like 2 or $3 on eBay as well. Like I said, I'm starting with the bottom tier guys first and kind of working my way up to the Joe Kim Noahs and Luol Dangs and so on and so forth. The third guy we got is going to be Kurt Thomas. Now, for whatever reason, I, I'm pretty sure Kurt Thomas is like 40 years old when he was on the Chicago Bulls that year, but he like did his thing. Now, uh, this was a fairly easy auto to get as well, but I was a huge Kurt Thomas fan. He was like a fan favorite, I remember, probably because he was so old, uh, but he definitely helped out the Chicago Bulls that year uh, in our bid in the playoffs. Next, we got Ronnie Brewer, utility man. He kind of did it all. Now, I tried my best to get these 
all in Chicago Bulls uniforms, but I quickly realized that that was not going to happen. A lot of the guys uh, didn't don't have auto cards from when they were on the Bulls, so I kind of had to just deal with what I had. So that's why you see these. A lot of these guys are kind of in their um, in different jerseys. So we got Brewer from the Rockets. Next, we got John Lucas the uh, third when he was on Toronto. Another two dollar card right there, and then the man in the middle, uh, Omer uh, Omer Sheik. I don't know even know if he's in the league still. I know he signed like the huge bloated contract, and we ended up trading him and. Last I heard, he was on the Pelicans, but I don't know if he's even in the league anymore. But definitely a pretty sweet on-card auto of him. Once again, it was only like $5 with the cool Bulls patch to, to go with it. So that's the Bulls 2011 roster PC so far. Uh, got another card incoming that I just bought off Mercari a couple days ago. So there'll be another addition to the collection. And uh, that's kind of it, guys. Wanted to make this a short it's kind of simple video show you what i'm doing uh get get my take on the whole target situation uh if you guys want to comment in the section below if your target just doesn't sell cards in general now or does it look a, li a little bit like mine just let me know i always like to hear from other people in the hobby so hope you guys enjoyed this video we got the national coming up in july which i will be attending it should be an epic video i believe it's like four days See if see how many days I can get to it. But yeah, definitely going to the national this year and looking forward to it. So thank you guys for watching. I appreciate you guys for all the support. And I will see you guys next time. Take it easy.